Hey guys, welcome to tonight's Big Brother Canada 5 chat. It's episode 22 and our stream crapped out. So we had to wait for them, for them to upload. We had the... to wait for this to be posted yeah. later. But like, whatever. Let's just talk about the episode because there was some stuff in here. All right, so. There was some stuff. If you remember, Dimitri's and Ika were on the block. Kevin went for it. He was like, this is for Bruno. He went with his gut. He put them up. And then he freaking went up to the HOH with Dylan uh, and laughed about it. Okay. He laughed his ass off. Here's the thing, though. Like, this episode was all out of sorts. Everything was out of order because yeah. I believe that actually happened before the nominations. And then Kevin went and told Ike and Dimitris that he was putting them up. Which we saw in this episode, but yeah. it was all chopped up, and they tried to make it seem like it was after the nominations, but it was before. So, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so, Ika and Karen have a little chat in the bathroom. Karen's upset and crying. She wants to address Ika's poor behavior. She feels like Ika was vicious and mean to her. But, do you think she was vicious and mean? No. Vicious and mean? There was a lot. Oh, my God. They said vicious and mean about a thousand times. Ika apologized, but not for the vicious and mean. Yeah, she's like, I may have been cold to you, but I was not vicious and mean. I was vicious and mean to other people in the house. Jackie. Yeah. She, like, but looked over you. at Jackie, too, and Jackie's like, ah, Yeah. What? It's okay to be vicious and mean to other people? Yeah, Jackie joins in. No one asked you, Jackie. And Icicle, <laughs> Icicle <laughs> Ika basically says, F you. Oh my god. Keep your nose out of my keep my uh, name out your mouth. It was also an element of like polyester hair bitch in there because <laughs> after telling her to not get involved in the conversation, Ika was like, go ahead, turn around and let more of your hair fall out because she was straightening her hair. And Ika did not hear this comment because I'm pretty sure oh, if she, she did, she would have whooped Jackie's went off ass. On her. But Jackie was like, at least mine's real. So like Ika did not I can confirm she did not hear Jackie say that because later on, when people when Jackie was retelling the story yeah. to people, Ika was like, I don't hear her say that. <laughs> You're going home. Yeah. All right, so <laughs> it's time to pick players for the veto. Obviously, it's going to be... Kevin, Ika, and Demetrius. And they picked Dylan, Dre, and what? Uh, Jackie? Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. Ika picked out Jackie's <laughs> chip. <laughs> Threw it on the ground and, and stomped, stomped on, on it. it. Oh my god! Ouch! That's that was messed up. That was really messed up. I think Kevin tried to make light of the situation by stomping on Dylan's. Didn't work. But wow. All right, so that was a lot. <laughs> Ika is crying afterwards to Dre. Yeah, there's been a lot of weirdness between Ika and Dre, but I think Ika was. I think she was really upset, but at the same time, I think she was also trying to guilt Dre back in. It worked. Yeah. Dre's back on the Ica train. Wow. Nice. After Dre was saying in freaking the goodbye message to Bruno, like, oh, yeah. uh, Ica and Kevin will be joining you soon. Suddenly, she's team Ica again. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Oh, my goodness. That's one of my favorite <laughs> things from this season. <laughs> All right. It's time for the POV uh, challenge. This is, that is what the you one. Call it? Yeah. That they, <laughs> yes. This is one that they've been hyping up all season. It's the 86 car commercial. They had been studying for this forever. Yeah. They had a couple of different uh, things to study. The one day when they actually were in the yeah. car and like checking it out with all those cards, they got that video from the Pax Bros. So there's a lot of information here. This is a multi-part competition. It's like in BBUS season the weather two. One? Oh. No, season two where they had like all those parts oh. and then they had to make the peanut butter sandwich. And they were like, my how far we've Damn. come, right? Yeah, right. Oh, Big Brother tried to change it up by using the crunchy peanut butter <laughs> instead of the smooth. <laughs> Exactly. So they have. Oh yeah, I see what you're saying too about the weather one. The weather one. They, they had, had to read, read it the off prompter. the prompter. Yeah. yeah. So part one of this challenge was like the weather one, where they had mm -hmm. to read from the prompter, and every once in a while there would be a blank, and they would have two answers there. You had to get the right one, and if you got it wrong, you, you had, had to, to go back start to the beginning. Over. But the Sucks. best part of this was Dimitri's, because there's always one. There's yeah. always one, because it started out like, "Hi, I'm blank." So he said. Hi, I'm... Insert name? Ah! No, you're not insert name. You're dumb eat trees. And it took him a while to get it, too. Oh, my God. It was so funny. All right. And then, like, turns head. <laughs> <laughs> 
so funny. Yeah. You know that's going in the puppet Dre, show. Dre, the whole time, was just like, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Yeah. So oh my then goodness. The second part, they had to put these road signs in order. They were all like little phrases yeah. that the Pax Bros mentioned. So they had to put them in the order that they were said. How many people sucked at the final part, which was that uh, circle puzzle? What was there, like six pieces? Oh my god. Uh, I think uh, there were more than six, but still, it did not look that difficult. And I'm wondering, is it against the rules? Were they allowed to do it on the floor why first? Because, like, I feel like whenever you're in a situation with a puzzle like that, why would you not do it on the floor first? Yeah. Because it's so much harder to have to build it up that way. A kindergartner <laughs> could have done that puzzle faster than them. I love I, how Demetrius was like, I went around the edges. I was like, yeah, it's obvious, but then nobody else was doing that. Isn't that what everybody does when they do a That's puzzle? That's how you do a puzzle. All right. Ika really, really sucked. She did. 24 freaking minutes. Yeah. That was ridiculous. Yeah. And the way that they, they edited this, it looked like Demetrius really sucked too, but he ended up winning. Apparently he didn't because he, he ended won. up winning. His time was like 11 minutes something, which I thought was still pretty high. Yeah. But, whoa. I think a, a few people were probably oh throwing it, too. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, Dre tells Ika, you don't have the votes. She's You're telling going her, yeah. Home. I don't think they're going to keep you. If you are still up on the block on Thursday, you don't have the votes. So, the roles have reversed here. Dre is the new Ika. <laughs> All right. Well, Dre's got this plan. She wants to get Dimitri's to save Ika mm -hmm. and then send home Demetrius. I don't know if they, did they even mention that part of the plan? They didn't, but I know. Yeah, that, I didn't think so. <laughs> but I know was, that's what the deal was. Hmm, they were trying to make it seem like Dre just wanted to save Ika, but in reality, she wanted to get no. rid of Demetrius. All right, so Kevin is thrilled yeah. that Demetrius won the veto. He was talking to himself slash the cameras. He was really big up in himself. Yeah. And you know what happens when you get all bigged up? You gotta go take a dump behind oh a God. shower curtain. <laughs> Why do they always show Kevin going to the bathroom? You know what's hilarious though? What? As I was watching this on the feeds, okay, I see this little monologue he does, and then I see him go to use the bathroom, and I'm like, I thought to myself, they're gonna put this part on the show, bathroom and all. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. All right. Well, you know what else made the show? The pizza burger fry party. Thank God, because we didn't get to see this on the feeds. Apparently, it was freaking nuts. So they are, they come correct up in Canada when they throw a party. They have the red cups. They don't do that on BBUS. They give you a thimble yeah. full of booze. Yeah, on but BBUS. the sucky part is when they give them all this booze, they block out the feeds for the whole night. We're like not allowed to see it because yeah. it gets that crazy. But the funniest part was when we saw that the burgers were there. <laughs> And we were like, oh, wow, they changed it up from the pizza party. And nope. then you were like, wait, nope, there's pizza, too. <laughs> there's pizza. Oh, my god! Everybody was dancing. Jackie was dancing with Dre. Mm -hmm. And everyone was making out. Like, everybody. Dylan was going around getting kisses from everybody. <sighs> Except for Karen. Karen was like, uh, I only kissed my husband, Brucey. <laughs> you can kiss my ass. That was hilarious. Uh, Did I you see the face that Dylan made after he kissed Dre? I was like, whoa. Emily, whoa, I buddy. hope you're not watching. Whoa. All right, Ika and Jackie kissed. They must have been drinking. Yeah, there must have been a lot of liquor that night. Dylan <laughs> kissed Demetri's. Didn't uh, William also kiss Dylan? Yeah, I said Dylan kissed oh, okay. everybody. Yeah, every literally everybody. everybody. Yeah. All right, so. It was pretty crazy. Ika, this was later on. She wasn't drunk at the time. Busted out into a rendition of Oh Canada. Okay, correct me if I'm wrong, but apparently Canada has these broadcast rules that like every show has to like big up Canada a certain amount. Hey, that's pretty cool. So like I didn't realize that until this season, and I was always just like, wow, Canadians are, like, so proud. They're so proud. <laughs> yeah, they forced them to I mean, they are, but, but, yeah, they do have these, like, segments in there. But I thought this was really heartwarming. I loved her story about how uh, she emigrated from Jamaica. Her mom came over first. Right. To make money for the kids to come over. And it was a beautiful story. She's I was really thankful, glad they included this. She's grateful. She's proud to be a Canadian. Yeah, she is excited. She's happy for her kids. Yeah, she can raise her I kids love that in story. Canada. 
it was really nice. It was nice to see that side of Ica because we don't see it very often. You know what I got to say? Immigrants, we, we get, get the, the job, job done. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Dre tries to get Dimitri's. She makes a last ditch effort to save before Ica the, before the POV ceremony. He saw right through this. Demetrius was just like, wait, what the hell? Like, he didn't say it to her face, but he's like, what, so you want me to go? Wait, though, what? Yeah. <laughs> but this week was really weird because Aika was acting at first like she was really cool about Demetrius using it on himself and like she would never ask him to use it on her. Yeah, she kind of like flipped the switch there. Yeah. That was weird. She got really pissed. She was like, it wasn't even a discussion. Like, if I had won, we would have at least talked about it. What should he do? I mean, should he just throw himself in the garbage? I know. It's so messed up. How messed up was Karen and Kevin Robert Martin? <gasps> Karen has gone to a new level. He's no longer just Kevin Martin. He's now Kevin, Kevin Robert, Robert Martin. Martin. Flip-flop floater bell. <laughs> yeah, so Karen was like, oh, shit. I need to make sure I'm not going up on the block. So she throws Jackie out there. She's like, Jackie sucks. Let's get rid of her. How does Jackie stay around so long? sucking as bad as she does oh i don't think she sucks as a person i feel bad for her but, i mean game wise but also it's like really hard to watch her try to game all right well it's time for the pov obviously dimitris uses it on himself mm -hmm. and kevin nominates jackie in her pl in his place <laughs> there you go <laughs> all right this is crazy now i still have no idea who's going home tomorrow for the first part of the triple yeah if you guys have been watching the spoilers you know it's been crazy it's been like a tennis match mm -hmm. you're going you're not you're going you're not yeah and i'm like looking at the feeds right now and it looks like some stuff's about to go down so you know it may be going down tonight but <laughs> an hour before the uh thing that's when it's all gonna go down and we won't be able to see it but you guys yeah. should definitely check out tomorrow's spoiler before the uh triple eviction let us know who you're hoping to see go and until next time much, much love, love.